Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. Last time, we, uh, well, went through to the Scarecrow segment and, uh, saw the fate of the poor Dr. Young, who got exploded by, uh, by a bot, by a pipe bomb. Anyways, in this episode, we're gonna continue into, well, the next part of this game, the penitentiary. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, God, these fit tapes. Yeah, this begins the disturbing story of Victor Zaz's, uh, well, tapes. Disturbing. Why does the Joker not feed his men? Good joke, by the way. Hello there. Boonk. Boonk. Who's that? Dun. Dun. Oh, back of the head against the radiator. Arkham Asylum Penitentiary. Uh, what was the secret that was here? Do you reflect on your successes and your failures, Batman? I guess it's a mirror. Hmm. Hmm. Here, more deceased guards. Oh, we can probably see. Blood stains. Not in the shower, of course, because you know it's kind of me, kind of the point. Yep, they're still following the right path. Death to all of these. Yeah, that was right. That's not a. Uh, I thought that was a bathroom mirror for a sec. Oh, nope. Well, certainly not. Uh, is it through that gate? Yes, it is. But I'm guessing I'm gonna go down here because these bathrooms probably have the secret. Get that, and the men's room has a mirror. A freaking creepy mirror, that one. You're beginning to impress me, Batman. You may still reach a level just below my genius one day. Rogue Joker, I mean Riddler, we have 84 of them. Also, it's a freaking orange mirror. Nope. And let through. On purpose. Two people, one voice, no gun. This sounds like it's, uh. thing. Hello! Hello, little body of patience. <laughs> Along with the shock floor. That's what they sound like, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, nothing through there, so. Sounds like a Coliseum in here. Is there? That's supposed to be scary. The horror sting sting and everything. Green Mile. Oh, hey, there's a movie like this once. And hello, Poison Ivy. Oh my god. Again, her design by Carly's did not age well. Put on a pair of pants. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. 
Why is she not wearing pants? Anyways, Poison Ivy. Botan botan botanist Pamela Isley was transformed by a scientist experiment gone wrong into a plant-human hy hybrid. With chlorophyll flowing through her veins instead of blood, she developed a toxic touch in a pheromone-fueled talent for seduction. Her crimes have become more ecologically focused as she was increasingly abandoned her human side. Uh, identifying more with the natural world, her unique brand of eco-terrorism often puts her in conflict with Batman, whose iron will usually protects him from her seductive powers. Real name pa Pamela Lillian Isley, professional criminal, Gotham City, green, red, five foot eight, one fifty, one one five pounds, and appeared in Batman eight one one eight one, June nineteen sixty six. Ability to d encourage indirect the growth of all plants, make plant based genes mixed with her DNA makes her an unpredictable and formidable f physical opponent. Extrudes natural pheromones that enable her to exert control over victims. Skin secretes a toxin that makes her t touch deadly. Pathologically, dry dry pathologically drive to rid the world of humanity and make it safe for plant life. Now, weird thing is that she actually uh, falls in love with Harley Quinn in late, late in later comics, and basically both of them start a relationship. Yeah. Gave some mistaken identity. Help me! Hmm. Help me! Sorry. Is it in here? What? Please, someone! Oh. Help me! Sorry. Sorry, President Sharp. You're in cash? You need to get me out of this cell. It's me, Cash. I'm needed out there. I can... That did not work. I'm up here. Uh, let's say cash first if I can, because cash, you know. Oh, hey, that's interesting. A room, a sealed off room with a Riddler trophy. Thank you. Yeah, I think the Riddler's slowly starting to get worried. What are you waiting for? Oh, Zip. Harley. Harley, you have to help me. Ivy, gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have time for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please! Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. Though, good news is, uh, well, they still retain a, a friendship for a while. That feels so much better. She is straight up not wearing any pants. Watch us all day. What a riot! And speaking of riots, uh -oh. here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, lobotomites. That's fall the biggest reference there for you. Me or may not do let's play on that. Just for fun. He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. Yo, let's go. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. You'll be attracted. But hey. Mean have access to the cryptographic sequencer. It uses ultrasound frequencies to bypass security systems. Security protocols are broken using a one uh, a five hundred twelve bit decryption key. We can now do this and unlock the gates. There's always a way out. Always. I think we can only basically unlock the crypt the cryptographic sequencer and basically do this. And well, you add one of these terminals, pull we'll do this, pull out this little keypad there, and basically just just make it so it's at full wavelength. Which basically you just shatter any of those. Now we can get a ton of upgrades. <laughs> and what's the upgrade to the cryptographic cryptographic sequencer? Boop, boop, boop. Increases effective range of the cryptographic sequencer, allowing Batman to operate out of reach control points. Oh, okay. Power. Okay, be right back, by the way. Cat's meowing. And I'm back. Alright. 
definitely gonna get the uh, health upgrade and then just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep, just keep moving. Good idea. Can't have some of my Ah. Uh, Cash, how do I let you out? Get me out of here. Uh, what the? Oh. He's an imposter. You know how many I know who place. you are. Your Clayface. Clayface. Initially an actor in horror films, Carlo went mad when he learned a classic film of his was to be remade with a different actor in the lead role. He took on the mask of the villain Clayface and killed all, and killed several of the remake's cast and the crew before being stopped by Batman and Robin. Later, Carlo joined the Mud Pack, an alliance of shapes changing mutated villains who had subsequently used the name Clayface. While the group was defeated, Carlo tricked his allies and injected himself with the essences of several of them, becoming superhuman, embedded with the ability to change shape, melt others into protoplasm with a touch, and mimic the powers of heroes and villains he copies. Basile Carlo, professional criminal, Gotham City, red hair, red eyes, and hair is known, or whatever whatever he chooses to be, has is six foot five inches and weighs two hundred and sixty five pounds, and appeared in Detective Comics forty, June nineteen forty. Can alter his physical form, adopting the appearance of nearly anyone. His malleable physical form makes him extremely difficult to injure or contain. His touch can be poisonous. Yeah, that's Clayface. A pretty cool uh, Easter egg here. If you, if you oh. yeah, and he's now Jim Gordon. So, oh, that's how you tell. Well, one, he, if you can tell, look at him. Every other character has bones in this game, but Clayface. He has no bones. Keep that in mind. Oh god, I can see his eyes. <laughs> Keep that in his tongue. Yeah. Keep that in mind for later. You'll understand what I mean. Later. Just break that black. And that's another character. Is that the calendar killer? Oh, well, no, but he's definitely insane. Hey, what's the... Ah, uh, well... Let's just... Do, 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 do. Roll around, and boop. Cryptographic sequencer. It's really good. Love it. Just letting you know, with that upgrade, we basically have access to most things. Like, other than things you can pull down. So many things are locked behind this thing, and I'm glad I have it finally. This thing will basically make this game a lot easier, easier to get up to get upgrades. And we just need one more to really get the last one. Oh hey, look another Riddler trophy. Uh by the way, is there a, a riddle in here? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Just checking to make sure there's in the tape, though. You know, for some reason. Basically, if there's a table, there's a tape, probably. So always look at tables in this game, but... You know. Just wanted to check, make sure. You know. You know why. Bunk. <laughs> Get away. Good thing he weighed, like, two pounds. <laughs> just clobbered his face into it. into the floor. Ow, his eyes. Yeesh. Two people, one voice, no gun. Surprise! Hello, Harley. You know, Bats, I always thought there was a spark between us. <laughs> and she's an expert gymnast. Get off the w out of the way! <laughs> and Harley is a murderer. But yeah, we want to avoid these electrical floors as much as possible. Uh... By heading into their cells with the strength jackets, and the strength beds. Hmm. Hmm, how do I do this? Uh. 
Uh, please, please, game, please, 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 please. Uh <laughs> that could have gone better. Bye bye, Bass. <laughs> that could have gone better. <laughs> Let's try this again. Please, Harley, do not say anything. Oh God, she does. It's good. okay. You skip it. Thank God. All right. Take that. Nope. Take that. Alright, there we are. We have a safe spot. Get off the floor! If we had a more control thing, I could easily do it, but I just... Yeah, I think we're gonna lose again. Ah! I thought I'd open the door! Not shock me! Uh... Yeah, I'm supposed to go through there. Alright. Oh, I'd like to thank my fans for their undying support and the people of Gotham. Sorry, Joker. I'm not I know you're a cool character, like you're a, a interesting villain and all, but I'm skipping your cutscenes. Surprise! Surprise! Shut up! Okay. Apprehend Harley Quinn. No. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. No, frickin' I, frickin' I, frickin' I! Alright. Wow, wow. Why? Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> Sorry. I'm really sucking at this, aren't I? Surprise! Shut up, Harley! So I turned into the Joker here. How much he hates Harley sometimes. Break open! Is that the only thing I saw that electricity on it? It just slowed me down. Dark, 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 blood. Oh, I forgot it is a blind. I forgot it is a blind. <laughs> Breaking your arm because you have guns. No. No, he is not. Nope. And there goes your legs. Can I get me off this, please? Thank you. Bink, bunk. Bink. Bink. And Bink. Bink. It's very fair. Bink bonk. Bink bink bonk. Bink. Bap. Bink. Bink. Break his arm. Crank. Beep. Leaves the sweeps and the creeps. Kinda like that. Crack. <laughs> kinda hard to say. <laughs> Keep away from the fist, uses his foot. Like her voice is in a tunnel there. Alright, so we can't do anything with that. So, through here. Break all those. And get ourselves another tape. Tape to patient evaluation 5. 
Victor is not responding well to treatment. Victor, yesterday we spoke about the people you killed. Ah, the zombies. They are all people, Victor. They are zombies. Continuously shuffling through the daily grind, waiting for someone to liberate them. You mean, kill them? The police report states that you've murdered, or liberated, if you like, 20 young women in the last three months. Each had her throat slit and was left posed. They were all lucky to be chosen to receive my gift. I doubt they would agree with you. Really? How about you, Miss Cassidy? As you take the elevator to your apartment each night, open the six locks to apartment 433. Remember you forgot to buy your cat food. Again? How do you know where I... As you sit down on your favorite red chair, cat on lap, just waiting for something to happen. I can make it happen, Sarah. I am your salvation. Immediately, I, if I was the doctor, I would have grabbed a chair and smacked him in the skull. He's actually threatening to kill me because he knows where I live. Oh, hey, and it's a secret. It's a little too small. Two boys, one gun. Ventriloquist. The other half of the two, well, of the uh, Scarface trio duo. Arnold Wesker was a timid orphan whose deep repression erupted in a, in a room brawl. Or barroom brawl, resulting in him being sent to Blackgate Prison, where he encountered the puppet Scarface and promptly murdered the man who carved the puppet. The two are now inseparable, with Scarface directing a series of criminal activities. While most believe that Wesker is simply acting out a second personality through the puppet, Wesker sees himself as a reluctant lackey who merely does the puppet's bidding. Uh, personal criminal of Gotham City, eyes blue, hair brown. That is clearly uh, it's a light brown. It's a bit like bit of like a reddish brown. Uh, five foot seven and weighs one four two pounds. And Detective Comics fifty eight. Same time as Scarface. Delusional, schizophrenic with multi-personality disorder, obsessed with his puppet Scarface, who he puppeteers with unsettling skill. When teamed with Scarface, the two operate as a criminal mastermind. Hmm. What's over here? But yeah, I would not hesitate to to basically to, to kill uh, uh, Zaz if I had the chance. Sorry. If like I was being threatened by him. Oh, sorry, sorry. Patient pacification system deactivated. That's Batman. Because yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> All right, another secret thing. This time three difficulty. Say soup, soup, soup. Boop. So I get down. And another way forward. Gotta love me. There is still a lock because we need because you have to do something else first. Why does none of these have a joke a riddler trophy in them? Oh, wait, they do. One did. I just died. I already got it. Alright. Uh, this is an interesting way. Oh, frick! Ah, my arm! Throw him like a sack of potatoes and. Bam. Smack. Okay, there's a one. A little trophy there. And boop. here's a secret one. Just get another health upgrade. Just because you need health. And here is another secret. Calendar date. Scan them and you get yourself. This room is the end of days for most celebrated killer. The Calendar Man. 
Fixated on the calendar, Julian Day became the calendar man, a villain who's tied in who's tied and tied with his crimes thematically to certain holidays throughout the year, often caught, leaving clues by which he would be caught. Gotham City's hopes for a day for a day off are often clouded by knowledge that any holiday of note is likely to be shadowed by Calendar Man's presence. Julian Day, fresh little criminal, Gotham City, blue eye blue eyes, brown hair, six foot three, one seventy five pounds, detective comics two five nine, September nineteen fifty eight. So the quirks of the calendar carefully plans his themes, his themes, crimes around the holidays. So yeah, usually stopped by Batman. Usually, usually a swift kick to the face, but eh. other continuities tend to work him into a serial killer. I know that. Prometheus, Arkham Guard's most wanted and most hated. Prometheus, Prometheus, Prometheus. Most wanted and most hated. Alright, can't open that yet. Need to go to the other side. No way to go. This way. Hello, Harley. Oh, let's say exposed wire. Hmm, probably should save one first. Like Q. Wanna give that thing to me back? Okay. Oh, there's one thing, and then there's that. This open. Okay, let's go with the Okay. There we are. Oh! Break that open. And head through. Quickly. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Now. Oh, I thought we were both gonna die in there. You're safe now. You're going after that crazy witch. I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. Hmm. She won't get away. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. <laughs> Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her. For me. Don't worry. The hammer of justice is unisex. That's a reference to, uh... What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. That's a reference to the animated series, by the way. The hammer of justice is unisex. And break as many things as possible. Hey, another interview tape. Patient's name is Victor Saez. For the record, the patient has transferred from Dr. Cassidy, who is on leave after the incident last week. Hello, Victor. Please take a seat. Guard, you can leave us. Sorry, Doctor. Warden's orders. I can't leave you alone with him. I understand. Hello, Victor. How are you feeling today? Victor, I can't help you if you don't speak. Depressed. Does that help you? Can you get into my mind, Doctor? Why depressed? I'm just thinking about the one that got away. The one I chose. I needed the mark. I want the mark! Yeah, this story does not have a happy ending, as you can probably tell. This may take a while. Hello, Louis Green. Thanks, no problem. Just got the help. I forgot to blow that part up. Yeah, crap. 
I'll get it later. We unlocked that door, so we know how to deal with that. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. This way. Anyways. Okay. Head out this way, I guess. Sorry, I made that. I'll be back. The bottom right. We're not a lobotomite, uh... Probably should just, uh... Not call them lobotomites. That's what it reminds me of, that's why I keep saying they're, uh... Psychos? Like, for... Hey, what are they No. Alright. Ain't much more joker teeth. Smack those out of the way. Let me in. Four walls, two sides, and one X date DA. No bones, no bones. Okay. Currently inactive. Okay, got it. Shut up. Oh, hello there. I see you. Red little trophy. Nice. Oh, hey, more scars on his on his uh thing. Cloak. You know what it is. Vote Dent. With four walls, two sides, and one XDA. Mystery solver. We got oh, two faces file. District Attorney Harvey Dent was one of Batman's strongest allies in Gotham City until a criminal threw acid on Dent's face, hideously scarring him. The wounds fractured his psyche, and he was reborn into a schizoid criminal mastermind obsessed with duality. His former good luck charm, a two-headed trick silver dollar, was damaged on one side in the attack, and Dent has seized it as a reflection of his half-scarred visage. He flips it aside the fates of his victims. Despite Batman's efforts to reform the former ally, Dent is consumed by his fixation on chance, and his crimes are designed to prove out his, his diametric philosophy. Harvey Dent, professional criminal of Gotham City, blue, brown, gray, 6 feet, 1282, Detective Comics 66, August 1942. Hastily scarred in the left half of his face, which plays upon the clothing that he's differently styled on one side. Extremely skilled with his weapons of choice, a twin 45 automatic. Psychotic obsession with duality, designing crimes around the number two. Defers his, his half-scarred coin in choices of life or death. He's also a bit based on Dr. Jekyll in Mr. Hyde. The dent side of him being the being, being the Dr. Jekyll, and the Hyde side of him being Two-Face. And one thing I always liked is the, uh, in, like, side stories with that, is Two-Face always being there. Like, kind of, before Dent, uh, got the acid burns. It's just until the acid, when the acid burn happened, that's when... Hello there. Get off me, lunatic. Is when he start, like, fully went insane. Oh. Boom. Is when he fully snapped. Oh, hey, another reel. Victor has been more subdued recently. Response to medication has been poor. Hello, Victor. Is there anything you'd like to talk about today? Victor! This is going nowhere. Guard! Get him out of here! You heard the doctor. Get out. Didn't you hear me? He's got a knife! Get a trike in him! Get a trike in him! Oh, God! He's on Bill! He's cutting him! Get him off! Get him off! We need help here! Why are the guards not armed? Actually, probably be be best they don't be armed, because, you know, they could, you know, shoot. But, uh, like they could steal a gun. Or... But, yeah. Anyways, open that up. You have to get over there to get some more stuff, but... I'll drop back down. That open that up? No! Okay. 
more lunatics to avoid that, just because I want to. Uh, go up here. Ooh, some brick walls, I see. Boop. Boop. Bam. Don't know why I like to make sound effects while I play video games. It's just kind of something I've always had. Cab done. Sweeps the bleeps and the creeps, as you might call them. As a reference to, a, to one of the best comedies ever made. Space walls. Just playing these down. Boom, boom, boom. Because why not? So we can get a one going here if we want to. We'll go to I need to find the, the Riddler trophy. You need this one. Literally, last one times the charm. And a bit of. You haven't you any CRD yet, Riddler? I mean, I completed half your challenges, I think. Nope. Uh, oh my god, I completed a ton of them, though. Missed almost all the Emma Sarkum stuff, and I need one more tape of Zaz. So I need to go back and do some more tapes. I have, uh... No one told me about it. It's stuck in my theme. All alone your cell. Why don't you break the ice with the most dangerous prisoners? Mm, it's an ice pun. I'm guessing that's a uh, Mr. Freeze joke. Excellent. This is my first time playing Arkham Asylum this far, by the way. Oh, hey, look. Are you too small? Oh, crap. Oh, hello there. This encounter is pretty difficult. Basically... The room will constantly be flooded with electricity soon. So you want to be careful. So you want to jump up there and hopefully it's not, it's not to the criminals, but it won't for usually. Boop. Bonk. Dunk. Dink. Dunk. Dink. Snap. 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 Ow, freaking! Crunk! Nope. Boop. Crunk. Boop. Boop. Oh wow, double kill. Take out you right away. Ow! Break you. Break the bat. Oh, I need to get up the off here. Now. He's dead, though. That guy is very much dead. I just snapped his arm and the, the floor turned electric electrified. He is very, very dead. One trick, though, if you want to, uh, to make it easier on yourself, for, uh, the case of, uh, get disarming, you can use the back claw. And break you! Smacks it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, sometimes you. I like to counter usually, or hit him with the pressing the counter button. All the time. It's a bit of a habit. Okay. You know, I was half expecting the room to blow up. Die, well, time for the boss fighting is Harley Quinn. And it's over. Quiet. Why the smiles next to certain names? You're the detective, you tell me! And now we're fully dead. Huh? And print. Into a cell. Have fun, Harley. In Maximum's in Maximum Security. Oh, He's in the secret lab in the gardens and oh crap. <laughs> yep, I know. Damn. Well, he'll get me out. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Well. 
There goes Holler Harley in solitary confinement. And we get a ton of XP. Also, Harley is well after this. Subdued. And I think we got more battle damage, by the way. Yes. Yeah, there's a couple Harley's scratches on your hand on our on his arm. So I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen. Hmm. Be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. Something bad is happening there. Uh, I think it's because of uh ivy. Yeah, now poison ivy. So I got a view. Too small. How do what do you mean out of you? Okay, all alone your cell. Why don't you bring the most dangerous prisoner? Mr. Freeze. Victor Freeze is a brilliant triogenesist whose beloved life, Nor, was stricken with a fatal degenerative disease. He placed her in a suspended animation while obs obsessively searching for a way to cure her. But the corporation that was funded the research in Nor's life to pull the plug, triggering an accident that transformed Freeze's body into a cold blooded form that must always be kept below zero. At normal room temperature, he will die. Wielding a number of freezing weapons, he wears protective armor in his quest to somehow bring back his lovely wife and avenge her fate, which partly holds for the Batman responsible for. Real name is Victor Freeze. Wow, with a name like that, they're almost expecting him to turn out into an, e an ice villain. Professional criminal, Gotham City, blue eyes and no hair and no hair to speak of. Six feet in height and 190 pounds, more weighing like 500 pounds with the suit. And it's first appearing in Batman 121, February 1959. Fun fact of Mr. Freeze. The Batman animated series version is actually what gave him the backstory. In pre previous before that, he was just a freeze-based villain. Kind of like Captain Cold. Scientific genius with a specialty in cryogenics employs an intensive array of cryo weaponry. His body has been firmly altered to survive at sub-freezing state, wears protective freezing armor whenever he's out and above zero climate, motivated the grief of his anger over his, the fate of his wife, Nora. We're really filling out the bio, though. I'll say that. Again, why is he even area in Arkham Asylum? He's not insane. Hey, we only have two more of these. Can we these? Okay, can't do anything about that yet, I don't think. But hey, we were filling a good chunk of the of the gallery. Only a few more. And there's the last. Oh, ooh, finally, the secret map. That will always help those who are stuck. Eh, you can take it. And a maxed out HP bar. Nice. Uh, armor upgrade for. Just doing it in order because they're kind of getting bored of it. Constantly upgrading. Oh, I see where it is. There it is. I see if I find a way to get up above. How do you get up there? How do you get up there? It's a question. A good question. Hey, found it. And there's the last tape of Victor's Zaz. Also, we can just use these for a bit, because why not? Break all these open. I guess we can get a Riddler trophy from this. Boop. Yep, a Riddler trophy for me. And we get to see the end of the Victor Saz trilogy, or saga. Guard, As I wait for him to be brought up to me, I have had time to review his notes. I am increasingly worried he cannot be cured. He has no empathy for his victims. Deep down, I believe he views all of us as potential victims. Doc, are you okay? What's happening? Meet Saz. He broke out of isolation. He's gone. Oh, God! Don't worry, Doc. You're in the safest place. He's definitely left the island. Of course. But someone needs to alert the authorities. He'll need to kill again. Do you understand me? Needs to. Oh, no. He's gone after Dr. Cassidy. And that is one of the reasons I hate Dr. Zaz, well, Mr. Zaz, is because of that. He ended up killing the person that, well, first interviewed him.
Cassidy. That's how it ends. Him finding Cassidy, killing her, making her body, slitting her throat, and making her in a lifelike position before starving another scar into his body. As the fate of all those who who fall victim to to Mr. Zaz. Or Victor Zaz. A straight up serial killer. Anyways, that's all for this room. And I think for this part, next time on Let's Play Arkham Asylum, we'll be heading into later we'll be heading later into this game. And well, doing more stuff. Going after the Joker again into the bot the uh, botanical gardens. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.